Oh, actually, we do have one thing left for you guys before we start the Q&A. And we are making Christmas wishes for NHL teams. So picture you're an NHL team. You're walking up. You sit on Santa's lap. And he just says, have you been a good team this year? Well, uh, yeah, I would really like it if, and I'll start with this one. I would love it if the New York Rangers could win some damn face-offs. As I tweeted out on Tuesday night, I would love it if I could hear the words Rangers win and face-off in the same sentence. And then somebody tweeted back, Rangers don't win the face-off. Oh, okay. Well, then you got me on that one. And I mean, the take for take the Chicago game. Chicago scored two goals, both of them on face-off plays. And face-offs again. Uh, as the quick, good, bad, and ugly from that man in the other window. It's just, you know, they, they need a face-off guy. That's what they that's what they need. So if or unless Filipino or the guys they want to get back to the face-off coach, go go get back to the face the face-off coach. They were winning 60% of face-offs to start the season and in the preseason. You didn't just forget. Somebody get Yannick uh Yannick Perot. Yannick Perot. Yeah, Yannick Perot. Get him down here right now. Get Craig McTavish yeah. down. Get anybody. Yeah. 44% on face-offs is, is what Ugh. they've been averaging. No, no, absolutely. Chris, uh, it's Chris, Jesus. Christmas. <laughs> Phil, what's your first Christmas wish? Well, for the New York Rangers, uh, I'm going to wish for somebody who can play defense much better than Patrick friggin' Nemeth. <laughs> Because Patrick Nemeth, you're getting cold for Christmas because you suck. Yeah. I mean, um, I, I, I just awful, awful, awful all around. Uh, and his play is bad. He he handles the puck like a hot potato. He is the definition of a yesteryear puck whacking defenseman. He would have been good in 1998 or 99 or 2000, where your defense was played by whack the damn puck out of the zone because, you know, possession wasn't really a thing for anybody other than Detroit at that time. Mm-hmm. But you know what? You, you, he's just, he's, he's just, he sucks. He sucks and he's making 2.5 million. And oh my God, it, it just somebody just get an upgrade over him or even get a top four defenseman to move Keandre Miller down to the third pair. And, and this team is just so much better. So, um, yeah, I, I, I like Sean's Christmas wish because I, I'll, I'll use a bunch of weapons on Nemeth and just make sure <laughs> they So, You think uh, one th- reason why they got Jared Tenorti on this team was so that way if Patrick Nemeth kind of looked over and went, Who are you, what are you going to do, play Tenorti? No, no, we're not doing that. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with you. But so, so, but 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 why did Chris Jury think that we needed more than one traffic cone on the team? I don't know. And uh, again, I speak about people that made perfect passes. The last time Jared Tenorti was on the ice, he made that excellent drop pass to Tage, to Tage Thompson. So it was um, it was a thing of, well, just made me want to vomit. Uh, let's let's think about what the Islanders could use for Christmas. And I, I'm going to say they can, they need vitamin C. They need lots of vitamin C. Keep COVID away from that team. And, um, you know, but on top of it, what they really need is they need a defenseman to replace, uh, not necessarily Zidane Char, but be in their top six to play with Scott Mayfield. they're, They're splitting up Pelic and Pollock, and it's just not working. And that's actually leading to more problems for them. You split up one of the best uh, defensive pairings in the league. And then while you're at it, get some goal scoring. That's what, that's what they need. They, they, they have 10 players on their team have a goal on the season. Six of them have two or more. Or sorry, seven. But Pajot just joined them. So they need goal scoring. And they need it in bunches. Zach Parise, still a goose egg on the season. There ain't going to be 20 goals coming out of him out of nowhere. Yeah. Help him out. He's got a man. He hits Parisi. Short-handed. Scores! Uh, the Islanders would want a win in UBS for a quiz, uh, Christmas gift. Um, I, I was going to say either the goal scorer or the defenseman, and you took them both because you're greedy. Um <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to be greedy there. 
But um, yeah, take the goal scorer then. The win at UBS would really help more than I think than anything right now uh, for them because they need to get a win in front of those home fans and start really getting what you would call home ice advantage uh, because they really don't have that right now. Um, The crowds have been good there, but it just the the product on the ice just has not been good, and they need a win on, on home ice more than anything right now. They had to wait 30 years for this building and another three weeks for a win. When the Islanders have finally won a game in UBS Arena, they beat the Devils 4-2. Going around the league, I would say Connor McDavid is asking for a goaltender for Christmas. Oh, yeah. Miko Koskinen is not the answer for them, and neither is Mike Smith when he comes back. Do you you know don't need Mike be? Smith, who I believe is a year younger than me. And do you, know, do you know who Mike well, I is? I ain't a spring chicken. And it's just they. If that team had an actual goalie, they the sky's the limit for them. And right now, the limit is this guy. Do, of course, do, they could also use a little bit more toughness, but we'll see about that in a few months. Do 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 you know who 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 might be the uh, the answer for them? Who? Mark Andre Fleury. Yes. Free agent and, at the end of the year. Uh, we don't. They don't know. We don't know what's going on for the rest of his career afterwards. But um, he could be had for a lot cheaper than a carry price. That's just not realistic. So Mark Andre Fleury could uh, definitely be an answer for Edmonton. So you mean to tell me you can get a guy with a Stanley Cup on his resume? I'm going with the word one Stanley Cup on his resume because he was watching for two more. For two um. But then again, his post Vegas career, how do you argue against him? He's, he's, he's been phenomenal. So Mark Andre Fleury, they can get him a lot cheaper than, uh, than Carey Price. Yeah, obviously I'd take him in a heartbeat, especially if I'm Ken Holland and I'm trying to, <laughs> I mean, I have no idea what Ken Holland's doing out there. In, in Edmonton, we've been second guessing every single one of his moves. This one's a no brainer. Go get Mark Andre Fleury. Matter of fact, go get him right now. Save your season while you can. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you could. Uh, I, I just, I, if I'm Edmonton, I start. I try to make that move sooner than later because they, they could, they could come out and win that division. They could. So, because uh, is there anybody else you can think of right now? I mean, the Calgary Flames, they they can just – they might wish for time to move forward because this that team is humming right now, plus 28 goal differential, 7-3 in their last 10. If the playoffs started today, I would actually say they might be the most Stanley Cup-ready team. I'll, I'll come right out and I'll say that right now, I, even I over the Florida they, Panthers. I, I think they might need to make uh, – I would say a depth scoring acquisition, uh, acquisition would, would work for them. Um, if I'm the St. Louis Blues, um, eh, St. Louis really doesn't really need anything. Uh, Colorado, probably just one more defenseman they would wish for. Probably one more defenseman in Florida, too. Uh, yeah, Florida would be the biggest one. They would, uh, Florida's wish should be a top four defenseman. So it's going to be interesting to see what Florida does. And, <laughs> Uh, you know what? Actually, Tampa Bay has got a Christmas wish as well. And that's that um, Nikita Kucherov is uh, injured for the rest of the season. So that way they can add more salary. Magically comes back for the playoffs. And, and, he, and suddenly he's <laughs> okay. My leg feel good. I, everything's fine. But it's just, no. It's, it's I, I, I look at that team and I just think, and they're starting to hum right now. And they're a team to be reckoned with. So, uh, I mean, Detroit, they're in playoff positioning. They have a minus 10 goal differential. They're in playoff positioning. That's yeah, I don't, that's not, that's why I think they're not going to last. Uh, they have a young team and their, their production right now is primarily relying on guys like, uh, Raymond. And mm-hmm. uh, and more cider, and I, I I just don't think it's gonna it's gonna last. Like I mean, Lucas Raymond is just under a point per game. Dylan Larkin is twenty one points in twenty two games. I, I mean, he's never been more than a seventy point player. So does that continue? More cider has eighteen points in twenty six games, which is really good for a rookie defenseman. 
Vladimir Mesnikov is having himself a decent year, 14 points in 26 games. That's that's over a 40-point pace. Pia Suter really hasn't been the acquisition that, you know, we thought they would be. He's really on pace for about 40 points himself. Bob Fabry's kind of fallen off since the start of the season. And Philip Ronick, who actually led them in scoring last year, is kind of down a bit scoring-wise. So um, some, of these, some of these comments, by the way, are great because I just – I, I, I love these. Like this one from David. Yeah, which, I oh. just clicked on it at the same time again. Yeah, we did that twice. Arizona yeah. wants to win the lottery so they can pay their taxes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I can't believe the mess that's going on in Arizona. Well, and I do think up, the NHL is going to try to make sure that situation works out down there. But uh, before even thinking about Houston, but it's, um, it's not looking good at the moment. And I mean – I'm I'm planning on buying a ticket to uh, the game on March 23rd because uh, I got to go down for my parents' 50th anniversary to Arizona, and well, so, uh, get, get getting getting that that stadium crossed off the list. But uh, also, it's it's going to be a fun time. But it's uh, I I I saw that story today about that they can't pay their bills. Yikes! It's it's getting sticky. The league's going to have to step in and do something about that soon. Uh, yeah, supposedly they, they there was something else that came out and said that they were paid up, though. So I don't, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, the fact that that's even come out, though, is nothing like I've ever seen before. So uh, uh, that's not good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, all right. So that's some of our Christmas wishes right there. You guys, uh, what well, we're going to be doing the Q&A in a little bit. You guys got more of them. We'll throw them in there. Yeah. Uh, and you got, uh, you got any other thoughts about a Christmas wish for your team across the league, throw it down in the comments below and don't, on also don't forget to like, share and subscribe. But we, if you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.